Yibos are builders of economy of nations on on the continent of Africa. Global. Should I? Yeah, global. Should I just name Eastern Africa? Go and ask Zambia. Ask. Uh, 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 Tanzania, ask Uganda, ask Namibia. Yibos are builders of economy of nations on on the continent of Africa. Global. Should I? Yeah, global. Should I just name Eastern Africa? Go and ask Zambia. Ask uh, 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 Tanzania. Ask Uganda. Ask Namibia. Ask uh, Angola. All of them, they will tell you. Even Congo, Mombasa, Mombasa will tell you. I'm not talking about Kinshasa here. Congo, Zaire. They will tell you in Cameroon, in, in, in Gabon, who the Igbo man is. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to talk about Ethiopia. Uh -huh. Ancestrally, we are related with uh, the, the, the King Solomon, you know, uh, uh, descendants in Ethiopia. How could this house that did not go to school, other Igbos to go, live southwest? Anyway, I like the way uh, uh, this Lagos State uh, uh, Governor Sanwolu was unperturbed. Mm. Yes, unperturbed. Because it he, he, he was like, who are this? Who are that? It's he snapped it. He was perturbed. I mean, the governor. He said, "Who are those? They have gone after that Twitter. The owner of that X handle is on the run because he has committed treasonable felony. He's supposed to be incarcerated. Now the can is just suffering. There's somebody that is doing his normal business. To nobody allow him to be rotten in jail and uh, allow his brother son to go to go free." Then these are people that have committed treason felony, yeah. asking Igbo to go in a nation, a country that Igbo has built over the years, for 54 years. Igbo continuously were the builder of economy of Nigeria. Who is that person that is telling Igbo to go? They are faceless. Mm. They are, their profile still remain hidden, mm. fictitious. Yes, it has not been open because if you know they are the person that is responsible, responsible for that statement, you should come out and show your face. Faceless people that are threatening you both are cowards. Men of cowardism and cowardice are telling you both to leave Southwest. The investors in the Southwestern region that has brought about the building of the uh, world modern economy of Lagos State. They are the Ibos. If you tell you both to leave, you are telling your food, your money, the money you are using to feed your household to go. These are, these, these are cowards. These are people that are agitating for Tinubu to remain in power. Mm. How could Tinubu allow miscreants in the southwest to take over the whole Lagos, Ondo, Ekiti, Oyo, or two states? See, let me tell you, it has brought another ghost of shame for the Yorubas. How could they allow people that did not know their left from their right to speak for you? Because they are towns. What is it that Yoruba towns represent? in Nigeria economy, in Nigeria government, in Nigerian nation building. Void, annoyed. So, man, it's so laughable, it's so funny that something like this will be thriving, you know, pr proliferating in southwestern region. Do they have a borough here? No, come to Onicha. I will tell you that Opa Iweka, Mr. Iweka is from Obosi, the first aboro in West Africa, starting from the year 1912. The first place that Aboro started, go and Google it. You, yeah, in our nature. Opa Iweka. He's Mr. Iweka from Obosi. He started it. Where are they today? They are billionaires in Anambra State. If you go to Onitra today, you will see them. They are big men staying in their offices, transacting with local government, state government. They make their money. They don't stay. They don't harass people. Have you seen any Yoruba man that went to Southeast and come back to Lagos State or Ondo State to Ekita and said, Aboro in our nature harass me. Who are you? Do you have money? Can you feed Aboro in our nature? What do they have to do with your money? Your money is not enough to make them who they are today. The Aboro in our nature are the CNO Colis, the Ugo Chukumotos, the PNM Meras, the Mike Meras, the Okesis, the Ekesis. These are big transporters we have in Igbo land. They are converted into transportation moguls. They are the transporter moguls in Igbo land. You don't come here begging people money on the road. They start orchestrating troubles, making troubles with traders, transporters, keke, motorists, and other transporters in Lagos State claiming that you are Aboru. Now you are giving Igbo quick notice. Who the hell do you think you are? Mm. What happened in 1992 stroke 93? Haven't you heard? You guys are so history blind. Mm. You don't read about what happened in the past. Mm. How could you just 
come up with this kind of sensitive statement. Mm. Okay, I give kudos to Lagos State Government, Jerry. Mm. They disown that person, that yeah, statement, yeah. and they are looking for him. Yeah. I think who, federal government, everybody is on his knee. Yeah. They are just trying to tiptoe yeah. him and get him arrested. Mm. They are tiptoeing him now. He's on the run, and they must arrest him. They must arrest him. The different, even their friends, say our hands, their hands are not in it. Even someone can give order that nobody should join. Nobody should join. Nobody should participate in this protest. Because look at what is going on. Okay, there have been a report um, that um, um, the, the Northern Edders, they accused the Igbos of inciting and starting protests, you know, in Nigeria. And, um, you know, clashing the North and the West together to all these protests. And at the same time, destroying their individual regions. And, um, you know, as um, the Igbos now later, you know, turn their back as regards the protests. That um, is what they already planned, but they are now stylishly, you know, you know, um, re um, refusing to join the protests. Um, that Igbos are coward, you know, as regards this. And what can I say to this? As regards what the Northern elders are saying now. Um, the Northern elders, if really the Northern elders say so, I, Mr. Kokondem, I, Mr. Paradeni Okokondem, don't see how Igbos did what the Northern elders accusing them that they did. If Northern elders said so, that Igbos joined hand to plan, plan the protest. Now, can they call how many Igbo people, call their name or point them that joined to pl plan the protest and after they go back home? Or does it, does it, it the Igbos in the north, the Igbos in the west, the Igbos in Biafra land come together, all of them jam in a place and they plot the protest with them and they went back home and said, nobody should come out. In what way? Can they approve it by documentary, by documents, written documents signed? Because when something like this, like this say, these are, these are social people that sign for this social and so thing. Can they bring it? Or uh, as I have said, point out those individuals, all their names that join hand to protest. Okay, you see what happened in this protest? It's just like what happened in 1993, June 12th election. You know, when that election, it was between North and the West, NRC and SDP, which Toffer was cabinet of NRC. Then Adiala was presenter cabinet of SDP. When the government of Babangida, not Babangida, the government of Babangida annuls the election, Humphrey Wasu was the INEC chairman that time. When they annulled the election, the West insists that they will have their mandates. The military government of Nigeria, led by not, said no. Igbos we are separated. They did not participate. When the tension was so high, not to prepare for war, West prepare for war. The Igbos, the Easterners, leave North and go back to their base, to their homeland. They leave West and go back to their homeland. That time, was it Igbo plan for the enrollment of the election? Was Igbo in the context of the election? Was Igbo the president or leader of Nigeria at that time? What to post was Igbo man holding Nigeria at that time? Why not they accuse that is Igbo man that annulled the election, causing problems between North and South, between North and West? Why should they come now and connect Igbo man? On a thing, Igbo man have shown interest, have shown no interest. 
You remember that this one was a second protest that occurred against this current government of Tulumbu. The first one was called. He was, he was said no. The first said no. They're not going to participate. Their hand are not in it. And it was, that one was hot. They went and planned the second one again. And the, if, still, the Biafran, even Biafran, say our hands, their hands are not in it. Even someone might give order that nobody should join. Nobody should join. Nobody should participate in this protest. Because look at what is going on. Now, how can not an elders, elders, I, I, no, I may, I may not believe it. Elders in the north, who supposed to think twice and not linking egos on the planning that they are doing plan and shit back. In what way? This will show you that this is what I've been saying. They want to make Igbo a scapegoat. They want to find an avenue to slaughter the Igbos again. And take Igbo blood to settle the score between the North and West, as they normally do since 1966. As they normally do since 1936. Since 1936, whenever Nigeria gets to hurt, they will use evil, evil blood to do sacrifice to appease Nigerian soil. But now it's no more again. This will tell you that they have agenda in this protest. Their target is their friends. Their target is evil man. To use them to es as a scapegoat. This is why they did not plot, they did not join, they did not do anything. You are still calling them coward. If this is the type of coward, Igbo man is, yes, we are coward. If we to join this protest, for us to be used as a sacrificial lamp, we say no. Then you say Igbos are coward. Yes, we are coward. We accept it. We are coward. Those that are lions, those that are, 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 are tigers, let them go and do the protest. We are sheep. We cannot so, help so, anybody. So do you not think the... Nigeria, um, Nigeria as a country, I've, I haven't forgotten what the Igbo did in 1966. Do you think that's suffering from what? Pardon, pardon. Do you think the Igbos have not, um, they've not been forgiven by Nigeria as regards to the coup that happened in 1966? Look, let me tell you, Igbo men do not commit crime in Nigeria more than any other tribes. Igbo men, their friends, they don't commit crime. In this nation called Niger, more than any other tribe. What of not that are massacring people every day? Who, 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 who ask them, whom do they ask for, for, for forgiveness? 1966, they killed you both in God. What have they done? I mean, 1936, they killed you both in the North. What have they done? 1946, they killed Igbos in the north. What have they done? The 1966 revolution was it only Igbo people in that revolution? The West are there, the North are there. The only thing Igbos come out to be the spokespeople. They turn it and say that it's Igbo crew. What do they want not to do it? Is it not the same crew? Okay, Igbo man did the coup in January 15, January 1966. What of 26 July 1966 did not do it? Is it not the same coup? Is it, if Igbo man commits them, is it not the same crime they commit? Now, after you do the coup and, sustain, and take power away from Hiroshi, kill Hiroshi, you go on and massacre civilians, enter church, enter Metal Square, enter hospital, and massacre Igbos. Is it that one not the same thing? You kill, 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 kill. I end it up as a civil war. Is that not a sin? Tell me the terrible woman committed. Like you say, you're asking me. So I don't not be forgiven. They are the ones that say, we should ask forgiveness from Igbos. Not able to ask them. Forgive, forget that one. Now. Stupid the Iberibe or Hanes and Igbo. Say they, they, they will go and ask for uh, forgiveness of uh, Kilama Dubelo 
and uh, and uh, and uh, and the Tafa Balewa. What a funeral they kill? What a pregnant women they kill? Out of 250 army officers from poor Igbo, they kill. Oh boy, make you leave that that's how they alone. Igbos are coward. Yes, we are coward. We will not join a protest like this. We will not join anything like this in, in Nigeria anymore. For the for the while we are going to stay in Nigeria. We will not join anything like this anymore. So that nobody will use us as a, a scapegoat. The first one, 1966, have taken us on our way. When we thought that we are one Nigeria, they have taken us on our way. It cannot happen so again. So anybody who wants to tie firewood, tie as he can carry. Do not tie and expect the woman to come and carry the firewood. No. Whosoever tie the firewood, she carry his firewood. They should not expect the woman to come again for it. They are jokers, Abi. They are jokers with the ah. other accusation. I, I'm not saying they are, they are jokers or not. But let them paddle their canoe. According to their own stream, mm. according to their own river, and leave Igbo man alone. You see why? Had you been Igbo man came for this protest, they have taken that excuse to leave their properties in the north. Had Igbo man came to, partic to participate, whether in favor of masses or in favor of government, they could have taken this opportunity to leave their properties in the north, that is, which they are not able to do now. That's why they were angry. Saying Igbo man. Uh, trying to play a smart game. On what? On who? Against who? Eh? Eh? On what level? They are playing that smart game. Against who? Or in favor of who? Anyway, it's not for them. That's for me. I'm still thinking twice. I'm still thinking twice. Whether or not an elders can say this type of thing. I'm still thinking it. How they can say this type of thing? Elderly people in the north.